Today's a good day. One, I'm doing a review on this Inkbirds smoker controller. Absolutely fantastic, and it's a giveaway. And the other one is the butchers that I found online. Absolutely fantastic, and we'll be talking about them as well and with all the links. Okay, let's get down to the bones of the Inkbird controller. As you can see down here, we've got the controller here, cable, plug, adapters, okay? Good case, and you've got the cables here as well. Okay, nicely, nicely packed in a case. So when you finish at the end of the day, you can just pack it away and know it's safe and it's not gonna get damaged. Right, as we can see, the controller, it's very basic, very user-friendly. It has a clean plastic casing, nice and tough, nice and light. On the base here, you've got the controller connection for your uh, temperature, for your ambient temperature. You've got three for your meat, and you've got your power connector here. That is a USB-C, uh, that's right. At the front here, you have the nozzle, so you can actually put a connector inside the nozzle. Okay, we'll get into those bits in a minute. This can be removed. Okay, I am doing it. Give it clean, it's all plastic. Give it clean, dump it in the dishwasher. Twist it back on, secure it back in, job done. This is the Wi-Fi and status, okay? These are indicators to tell you whether you're connected up to Wi-Fi or you're um, just connected via Bluetooth. This is your set button where you hold it in and it starts hunting for your Wi-Fi. All the controls are done on your phone, whether it be Apple or a Samsung, uh, the app works on both of them. Okay, so we got that bit out of the way. The connectors, there's two of them. You've got your large and you've got your small. I use the large one for my Commander Joe. Now, when you do put this on the Commander Joe, you think, oh no, it's not gonna fit. But they do supply these like clips. Okay, I found the best way, and I will show you a short video of uh, how I've connected it up. This actually goes onto the, the runner itself and this goes onto the bottom runner and it goes behind, locks it in really good and the sliding door come across and it a nip across here and it seals it completely. Very good, very easy to do. Obviously you've got your, your probe clip here. Don't lose that. It's uh, hard to find. I used it on two cooks I didn't want to overdo it because, you know, with the smoke, etc., it's going to get on the probes, and I, I didn't want to tarnish them all. And so I've only done the two cooks, give it a good clean, and packed it away for the uh, lucky person who's going to win it. I have got a list of items that I want to uh, tell you about. Okay, it has Wi Fi, Bluetooth, dual connection. Um, obviously, the USB supply is a uh, five volt. You can connect it with, with the plug and the lead. Now, the lead, the lead itself is not that long, okay? So if you've, got, if you've got a socket that you're close to, then great. If not, I would advise getting a longer lead. You can use a battery. I haven't got my battery here, a uh, battery pack, um, but be careful on your battery packs because my one, when the fan's not working on the uh, controller for a while, my battery shuts off, which shuts off the whole system. And I'm wondering what, what the hell's going on, but I realized it was my battery and not Inkbird at all. So just double check that. If not, if, if it's a good day, get an extension lead out and it will be perfect, okay? Now, this was very surprising because I tested it against my uh, Flame Boss and I, I was quite surprised actually on this. Now. Oh, oh, I still can't believe it. I, I put them side by side with the uh, pit probes, 
the flame boss, um, it, it failed. Okay, it didn't get up to what this temperature is. And this, this is literally, and I've got it here, it's down here, 250 Celsius it goes up to. Okay, it can peak up to 300, but it has to drop down before it fails. I, I didn't, didn't try that because I didn't want to try and push it too far and ruin it. But I'm saying 250 Celsius, that's brilliant. And these were actually, the probes were over the direct fire. They weren't, there was no uh, dividers in the way, no ink sinks in the way to prevent the, the, the fire getting, well, the heat getting to it. Um, all in all, it's, it's just fantastic. And the interface on it as well, which I will show as I'm talking about it, is very Inkbird. If you've got an Inkbird controller anyway, or you've got a meat probe, etc., you'll understand the program and how they do things. When you first get it, I would definitely, definitely calibrate it. Okay, you need to calibrate it. I didn't calibrate it and I realized it was out by a few degrees and sometimes that does matter. So calibrate it, then go and use it, okay? So whoever gets this, please do calibrate it. Please give it a try. Please tell me what your thoughts are on it and how well your cook went. And some pictures of your cooks, that'd be nice. Something else I'd like to share with you and I think it's quite exciting for me. It might be sad in other people's eyes and ears, but getting a hold of a good supplier online is very hard and at reasonable prices. I found one and they're actually called Village Butchers and they're based in Essex. They do ship around the UK. They've got fantastic packaging. It's up to 60 hours it can be in those boxes before they need to be taken out. You get great, even you get great usable freezer packs as well, which is really good. I've cooked, I've cooked a, I think it was two bone in ribeye joint and ribs. And it was fantastic. Oh, the, the taste, I, I tell you what, I left my old butchers for these butchers because the value is second to none. Really friendly as well. I wanted the Pacific cut that I needed for a cook that I was doing. So I gave Joe a call and we had a little nasa and a laugh and we organized everything and it's actually arriving today. And they in bands for the, you know, it was only a, what, Monday I called them and it's arriving today. Absolutely, fa I, was, I was shocked, that was fantastic. And at a really good price as well. So I'm gonna put a link down below for you to check them out. Please do check them out and say that Mark from Barbecue UK sent us over and hopefully they might do a little deal with you, you never know. But I will, I will say that Joe and I have been talking about doing special deals on Barbecue UK. This is exclusive to Barbecue UK users, okay? Now, if you've got any other questions about the Inkbirds controller, please do uh, give me a shout uh, on Barbecue UK or on here on YouTube and uh, I'll try and answer as many questions as I can as, as truthfully as I can and if I don't know the questions I'll go drink for myself just to let you know there's your um, your probes quite the basic type probes not not the sort of probes that I'd love but they're decent enough and you have one you have two three and four, that's your pit probe and your three meat probes, okay? I will uh, leave you to it now. I know it's a little bit of a short one, but I've got loads of things to do. I've got meat arriving today as well. So I've got to make loads of room in the freezer and fridge because I've got loads coming. And I'm, I'm quite excited actually. Right, I hope you like this uh, quick review, but uh, I'm hoping that you might give Inkbird a try on the controllers. 
hopefully there will be a discount coming up with it soon. They've got an anniversary, the 13th anniversary this year. And it's just started and they're going to do some giveaways and discounts and everything. So as a big thank you to all their customers and new customers coming in. Anyway, I shall leave you to it. And uh, thank you very much. Hope you like it. Please do press the like button, subscribe and all that funny stuff that YouTube want you to do.